Hey guys, this is lesson 4.5 for pre-algebra. So lesson 4.5 is more story problems and in every chapter there's going to be some story problems where they want you to try a new strategy. So you had like guess and check and then um, try your like all those different um, act it out, those different things. So this one is called solve a simpler problem. So it says math strategies in action. Scientists often encounter problems that are very complicated. When they work to develop a new vaccine or develop a new method to fight disease, they usually work on smaller or simpler pieces of the problem first. Sometimes when you solve a problem, it helps to solve other problems that have similar conditions. So here's a problem that shows you how to use this strategy. So here's the problem. Mandy, Jim, Keisha, Darren, Lynn, Chris, and Jen are friends. They want to take pictures of themselves with two people in each picture. How many pictures do they need to take? So this, um, it just, to get your mind around this topic, they said, solve a simpler problem. Change the problem to one that only has three friends. So here's three friends, and they just picked Mandy, Jim, and Keisha, the first three. And they said, okay, you could take a picture of Mandy with Jim and with Keisha, and then all you would need left is a picture of Jim and Keisha. So Jim has already been paired with Mandy. So then that would be three pictures for three people. Now, this one, if I have four, Mandy, Jim, Keisha, and then I add Darren, I have Mandy with each of them, that's three pictures, and then Jim needs to be with each of these two that he was left with, and then Keisha and Darren. So then I'm, I'm and then I have six. So this is three friends, three pictures, and this is four friends, six pictures. So, it wants you to look at what patterns you see and how many pictures do they need to take. So, now, for if I'm going to do Mandy, Jim, Keisha, Darren, Lynn, Chris, and Jen, that's seven people. So what they did is they listed all seven people, Mandy, Jim, Keisha, Darren, Lynn, Chris, and Jen, and then they drew lines to each person. So from Mandy to Jim, that's one picture. And then Mandy to Keisha, Mandy to Darren, Mandy to Lynn, Mandy to Chris, Mandy to Jen. So Mandy has a picture with everybody. So now if I go to Jim, Jim needs to go to five other people. Keisha needs to go to five other people. Darren needs to go to six, yeah, five, and so on. So then you count the lines. So there's six, you can see the red marks. They have six lines there, and then seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And then they only count the lines that don't have a number on them. So see here, they're not counting this line because if I travel it back, it's already been counted once. And like Chris, if you look at Chris, a lot of his lines aren't counted because they've already been counted before. And then Jen only has one line that's counted. So if there are seven people, there are 21 different pairs of friends. So that means you need 21 pictures. So it's kind of like figure out a simpler problem and then use it to figure out your big, more in-depth problem. So you can use that strategy. If you have another way of doing it, it's totally fine. There are numerous ways to do these problems. This is just one idea. So that is it.